Let's do a quick demonstration of searching the Virginia Untold website. We can actually start our search by utilizing the search bar here at the top of the page. For the purposes of this demonstration, we're gonna pretend that we're searching for an ancestor and we know that her name is Lucy. We don't have a last name, we just know that her first name was Lucy and we know that she was enslaved in Louisa County and that she was freed sometime after 1782. So we're gonna use that search criteria to begin our search. And we can start really broad with a name, but I also wanna point out that most of the documents that have been digitized as a part of Virginia Untold have been fully transcribed. So that means that they're keyword searchable in their PDF format. So we could search Lucy here. We could also search a place name. We could also search just a random keyword, like if we knew our ancestor was maybe a blacksmith or we could search the word pregnant to see if that shows up in documents. We could search the word mulatto. Um, there's a lot of different options, so just keep your mind open for what you might search in this bar here. But let's start with a search for Lucy. We're gonna start really broad, understanding that this could bring back lots of results. So we actually have over a thousand results. That's a lot to wade through. So why don't we try refining our list of results here by using our filters on the left side of the page? Well, first of all, um, we know that we're searching for a, a time frame after 1782. So we'll start by refining our dates. And we also know that Lucy is from Louisa County, so we can go ahead and search documents that are related to that particular locality. Coverage is a fancy word, or locality, it brings up cities and counties here. So by selecting Louisa, we actually narrow our results to 25, which is much more digestible than over a thousand. And we could start by searching through each of these documents individually. We could also go further in refining our results, realizing that we're looking for a document associated with Lucy's emancipation or her freedom. So I might want to refine my results even further by a record type, and I'm going to select deed of emancipation, and that's going to take us down to just two results. And I could start here by searching um, these various results here. This first option is pretty obvious. Lucy's being manumitted in 1807. Sam, however, is less obvious. We're not sure why Lucy is being um tagged in this document, but if we select it, we select the title there, it will take us to the metadata page, um, which provides a description of the document, a little bit about what a deed of emancipation is, date, um, locality, and then selecting available at Rosetta repository will actually take us out to the digital image. It's gonna provide the original document first, which we see is seven pages long, and so what's really nice is if we didn't want to have to decipher this handwriting, we could utilize the transcription on the left side of the page here, and it will pull up the transcribed PDF document. And because this has been transcribed, it is keyword searchable. So we could actually search, we could do a control F search to find where Lucy shows up in this document. And we see that it looks like she might be the mother of an enslaved person. It looks like there's another Lucy maybe that's enslaved by Thomas Johnson. So we could work through those various hits to try to make sense of how Lucy relates to Sam in this document and if it's in fact the person we're looking for. So let's go back out to our results here. I just wanna point out some things about the filters on the left side of the page. We could reset these and start from scratch. We could also lock them. So if I wanted to keep these filters on and search a different name, I could do so. And it will pull up, looks like there's only one result within these particular criteria points. So that's something to keep in mind. The Virginia Untold search button at the top will take you back out to a main search, which is nice, it just resets completely. I wanna make you aware that the advanced search option will actually create the filtering process before your search. So you could enter all of those criteria points at the beginning. Um, Lucy as a main search term, 
And then we could search Louisa as locality or coverage. And then we can use our date to refine it even further. And by clicking the search here, this actually pulls up the same results that re we returned um, from our filtering after the fact. So just something to be aware of, you can filter your results, you can do a refined search before or after, it's just a matter of how you'd like to do that, that particular search process. Once again, going back to the main search page, I wanna point out that you can also search for Ginny Untold by using record types. So selecting this button at the top of the page, search by record type, will take you to the digital collections discovery page. We have actually made sub collections for each of the record types within Virginia Untold. So if I wanted to search just the deeds of emancipation as a document, I could do so. So this search will pull up all of the Joes in all of the deeds of emancipation across Virginia localities. So note that I don't have a look, I don't have a locality in here. I don't have Louisa. So this is Joe from across Virginia where he shows up. This is especially useful, I think, if you're searching perhaps within the records of unknown no longer that are were digitized by the Virginia Museum of History and Culture. So if I wanted to search, perhaps I know specifically that my ancestor shows up in these in this particular collection, I could search within this, again, controlled universe. So just another option for searching Virginia Untold that I think is important to be aware of.